What is up, my egos and e-boys? Welcome to Hearts Render Tutorial! Yay! So, um, everything will be listed down below in the description that you need for assets and stuff, and let's get into it. Okay, so for starters, you're gonna go into the drive file in the description and download it, and then you will have the light rig and the, um, thing, the, the rig itself. And you're gonna go find a skin that you want to render out. This is my friend, so I thought I'd use his skin because I haven't rendered him before. So, you're just gonna download that and put it somewhere you can find it later. Now we're gonna go into a photo editing software thingy bobby, open up the skin, and we're just going to begin painting over the face with one solid color. Because it just looks better in the end render, promise me, it just looks better, okay? So just do that. Make sure anti-aliasing is off like you guys saw. I pushed it then, like, it, you, you, just, just do it, just follow, okay? This is not how to do it on iOS, by the way. Please don't ask me if you can do this on iOS, because you can't. It's not possible. Well, you can, but they won't be as good. So, yeah, and I'm also using Cinema 4D and... Blend not... Blend not Blender. Cinema 4D. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys will understand what I'm doing here, but basically with the rig that we're using today, you can't, like, the hat layer and stuff doesn't look as good when it's, like, your hood and all that. So, I take the hood and put it on the head layer, and you'll find out why later. It's just better. Trust me. Okay, so now that's done, I'm just going to delete the hat layer underneath because nobody has time for that. So then once you're done, you're going to want to export it and save it. Just make sure everything's all good and then save it as a transparent PNG 64 by 64 unless you want an HD skin, but you know, it's just easier to see in the Cinema 4D. Save it and then now we're going to go into Cinema 4D um, and get our light rig and our rig going. So I just have mine already saved because I've been using this for a while. So you're going to locate your polar rig and you're going to add it into your Cinema 4D by just dragging it in and then selecting the um, plugin. So don't alarm, don't don't be alarmed. It is black right now currently, but once, as soon as you add a skin it will fix and which you can do by checking under there and then importing the skin so go to wherever you saved it and then open that and i just recommend going through and testing around things on the rig if you do anything you could just push the undo key and yeah so then just copy that and then paste it down unless you have a different head layer you want to use for your extruding but i don't know so currently our face is a little bit deformed but we will fix that i promise um so if you wanted to have like a female you click the female or male option and then there's like your boob tweak and you can cartoonize and tamper your arms and stuff and i normally don't like my eyes up that high i like to drag them to about like a middle section um i've actually gotten used to like smaller eyes <laughs> sadly enough so um we're gonna fix that and i'm just gonna save you guys some time Instead of watching me try to find this, go and you see that very bottom one there, it says face deformer. Click that off so that your face and stuff won't get messed up. And it can just free move, so. So then I just dragged this down a little bit to level it out. And if you guys also want, this is me being dumb because of how I normally don't use the real eyes. But, um, like, you guys can use the rotation tool on that middle arrows, on those middle arrows, and it will squint the eyes for you. I decided to do the eyebrows because I had, they looked gross, okay? I just dragged them all the way down to the bottom because I like them right on the eye. Then, of course, I made them squint a little bit so their eyes look smaller. And then I lifted the tear ducts, the tear, I don't know what those are called, like, the, the bottom eyelid, yeah. Just to make him have more of a happy expression. Moved his eyebrows around so he didn't look so angry or confused or scared. And the more random with it you go, the better. I just want to say, please don't use a very large mouth unless you're up for that. But I don't like them personally. That's just me. I don't know. It's up to you guys. It's all about your preference. The face should always be balanced. So then I use the color picker with 
um, the second, third, third darkest shade, and got the eyebrows. These eyes bothered me all, like, recording. I ended up just switching them out later. Because they were kind of ugly, and I just... But there is pupils and stuff that you guys can use there. There's over four different types of pupils, actually. And they're pretty nice. There's some that are really nice. I just personally don't like them. If you guys want a tutorial on how to actually do the eyes like custom ones i will show you guys how to do that um t 20 likes okay i believe in you so you can select the eyes that you want i was gonna go with these in the first place but it was hard because there was no direction like i couldn't tell where he was staring so on to extruding if you're gonna select all of the um skin layer so everything that is like by holding down shift everything that is yellow is going to be deleted so if you make a boo boo, just push Control on the spot you don't you want undone, and then it will unselect it. Sorry, this is like a fast section. <laughs> and then I'm going to select the whole front face, um, and push D, and then two. And then now with the hat layer, I only like the front piece normally, so um, I'm just going to select the front side, push U L or U I, it's one of the two. And then D again, and then four, because four is normally what I use for hat layers. So then, now that that's done, I, I messed around with these eyes for like five minutes, because they just didn't look good, and I hated them. Like, I just wanted them to look cute, you know? It didn't work, so in the end, I just got rid of them and put in my own ones, because I like them, so, you know. So I had put the whole thing together and it looks like this so far, but we actually have to extrude Royal English, please. We have to extrude the back hood of that, which is the same thing as the hat layer and stuff, except we aren't deleting anything. We're just selecting and then extruding. So I recommend not doing the back side. So like whatever angle you're having, like if you're having them from the left side of their face, Make sure you don't extrude on the right because you might get little glitches, like little, um, like corners and stuff poking out that just looks really weird. So just, I recommend you like do one side and then like, if it's not in view, you don't have to do it basically. Then I extruded the chest, because, like the torso, because I wanted to. I didn't really have a reason. I just decided, you know, it'll add more character. So why not? By the way, I actually made the skin for my friend, so it's actually pretty nice. He likes it and I like it and it's good, so yeah. He's probably currently watching this. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna put that all together and it looks pretty good so far. I'm actually, I was pretty happy considering I made the whole rig over again, normally when I just use a preset. But like this mouth, I wanted to do something with the mouth and I personally hate these teeth because they're huge and you need like a big mouth for them. So what I decided to do was I did a little, I made a little thing here. I basically grab a plane and then grab one of the eye textures, drag it over, and then we make some makeshift teeth, okay? There's no lines or indents or anything. I don't know how to rig. I just, that's, that's literally all I did and I swear by them. They're the best teeth ever. So... I recommend that. And you just want to position them into the face a little bit, not so that they're poking out, but just so that you can still see them. There you go. And then play with the small. I normally don't use the control panel, I'd rather go in manually and do it. But for like the smile on the side and stuff, I'd rather though. I was trying to make him like look like he's grinning more like a smirkish grin, but it just it the whole face wasn't working. I changed it all up in the end, but I actually um really like posing the body and stuff now because I see here I learned how to turn to move the torso, which I never did before, and now it looks so much nicer. I was gonna add arm tampers, but I found that was what was glitching the arms, and I'm really glad I know that now, so I'll turn it off when I go to rig a guy later, but um. Yeah, these eyes were just not working. It's like, like, why? Ugh, like, no. There's some pretty good ones. So, like, I use those ones currently right there, those yellow ones, for, like, uh, three months. I used those same ones on this rig for a long time. And then I got, like, made my own and I was happy. 
HD ones are a little bit different, but you know. This is me attempting now to fix them for my own eyes. It, it just didn't work, okay? We're gonna just, just forget that happened. So I decided in the end to just delete the eyes because it was too much of a hassle and I just imported my own because I'm cool. So they were a little bit off. I had to fix them because I had already positioned the character. So, and shrink them down because he looks like puppy dog eyes looking. And I like for males to have smaller eyes. Like just to be, like it's almost like adrenaline rush kind of. I just like smaller eyes now compared to like big rounded eyes. I actually, I've just grown taste. Like I've, I've gotten away from like the rounded eyes taste and I like this so much better. This mouth was honestly a pain though, not gonna lie. But um, all you guys have to really do with this rig is just try like move it around and I actually thought this looked really good so far. So we'll be rendering it out soon, but like you just have to really play around and if you guys want, you guys can tweet me at heartfinadi on Twitter your renders that you've made from this. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, so then I just position it after adding my Lightroom. And you actually have to delete the sky in this one or you will have a blue sky unless that's what you want. I don't know. But I found this rig recently, this light rig, and it actually works really nicely. I didn't like how the mouth and stuff turned out. Like there wasn't enough shadow. So I tried to turn down my ambient occlusion. But it just was like, <laughs> no, so, sis, you know. <laughs> so now you guys can enjoy this casual render part here, but I hope this helps you guys make some awesome renders. Like I said, tweet at me the ones that you make, follow me, or follow, mm, follow me on Twitter, subscribe, like the video, comment down below what you think. And yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye! Oh god.